Quickie loop. Finishing up this latest trilogy, we have the implications of Novikov consistent time travel on the P versus NP problem. Remember that Novikov consistency means that local physics must be globally consistent. And an NP problem is one that cannot be solved in polynomial time, requiring insurmountable amounts of computer power to solve problems that are even slightly more difficult. One example of an NP problem is prime factorization. Let's say we're doing math by hand, and you have a piece of paper with a number that you know is a product of two primes, but you have no clue which ones. A lot of our modern encryption works on this principle. But you're a time traveler, so you wait for your future self, just a few minutes older, to show up and drop a folded piece of paper on your desk and leave. You tear off a blank piece of paper from your notepad and observe that the torn edges match the folded paper exactly. This is the exact same piece of paper you just got from the future. So you unfold the future paper and see what's on it. If it's two numbers, you multiply them together to see if it gives you a solution. If it does, you write the numbers on the sheet you just tore off, fold it up, and go back in time and give it to your previous self. If it's anything but a solution, if the numbers don't match, or if there's something other than two numbers written on the paper, you just put down something different. Maybe you draw a smiley face, unless the future paper has a smiley face, in which case you put down a scribble. You fold it up and go give it to your younger self. That creates a paradox. Which means that the only Novikov consistent timeline is one where you are able to answer the NP problem in just a few minutes using time travel. So if time travel exists, then P must equal NP. Which means our encryption, everything we base our privacy and security on, is screwed. Sorry, but it's gonna have to be one or the other. Take your pick.